First of all, good afternoon, Namaskar. Rather than going straight into the activities, let me express some of my own personal feelings. First of all, my heartfelt thanks on behalf of my institution, Bharati Avidya Bhavan, and myself as Parvati, and colleagues of Prabhagati and Satya Prakash Kiliji, and many of your faces are known to me. By some way or other, we have all met at different crossroads, at different roads. But the basic aspect of accepting and calling me on a few occasions, I still remember I had the privilege when first Yukta's opening, I was a computer. It was a great privilege for me for two reasons, not for any other, for two reasons. It's for being an acceptance to the country where we come from, that is India. For me, I come from Kerala. And then Yukta is about Telugu. So both states, we are from the south. And the second aspect of it, I am an artist, and Yukta is all about artists, fine arts, or religious activities, or Arshabharma Samskara, let us put it in that way. So these three things came, and then the interactions were beautiful, and one important thing which I would emphasize is that all of you as members, parents of Yukta, I have seen, you have taken a great pain and an effort to encourage your younger ones who are totally having a different way of life, a different way of education, a different way of social way of living. Unless and until you give a chance for them to know what it is. They may not take it up, but at least they may not be strangers of what is happening in their future. And slowly, slowly, it will give them a great, tremendous strength, inner strength to themselves at all times, the good times, the bad times, and when you need your help. So all of you are putting that effort right from that time, the first time when they opened the institution at that time, and I have seen that. And even today, the same thing, I was so impressed. Literally, I'm saying, the two young ones, they just went over there without any inhibition, what they are doing, how they are doing, how they will be judged. My hair is standing. At that age, they went, and they looked straight to straight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the strength. That is the strength. They didn't wink, they didn't look anywhere, eye to eye contact straight. That is the strength of each inner Atma. And it is our duty to strengthen that Atma. In whichever culture we are, whatever it is, they sang beautifully. And look at the little one, such difficult Sanskrit words. Without any inhibition, he did it in his own diction, he never did it. There is an effort and an encouragement by the parents, but of course it has to be developed by the society. Mother cooks lovely food, but if nobody is there to take it, that taste is not known. It is straight and simple logic. So when occasions like this, we should encourage them and we should bring them, let them do, allow that and nobody knows what they will be in future. But we people, we can sit and say that we have given something to our children. And they get the strength to be with the society. They will never become strangers to the society. They will all grow up in different ways. They will have their own groups, their own society. Horizon is the limiting for today's youngsters. But there is a belonging at certain times you need in your life. At that time, you should never look back and think that you are a stranger. For that, our sanskars, whatever it is, our belief, our sanskars, meeting our people, trying to know each other, that gives the strength and that is the things. So today I'm really, really grateful once again to all of you to accept me to be a part and giving an opportunity to share this really, really wonderful moment of seeing so many youngsters coming up. And now the first performers I turn up to, the two young lads, if you permit me. Just call you as lads. 
Pranav and Pratish. Both of you, the first choice, let me say that, very intelligently, you have chosen a beautiful raga, which everybody can come into it. Because Carnatic music is a great portion. You can pick and choose anything at any time. But very sensibly, you have taken a very lively, titillating raga that is Balahari. And the text was so beautiful. And your understanding of the text, that was really, really up to the mark. Because of that, you could bring out the whole concept of the poetic concept of that literature is bringing the devotion of seeing the Lord himself from top to bottom, that is Geshadi Padam, we say. That aspect, you brought it out very well because of your understanding of the text. Once you understand the text or the meaning of it, automatically your emotions flows into it. This is straight. When we are angry, all our words are going in a different tone or a note and our body becomes stiff and our facial expression is different. But the same person, when he is compassionate or when he is loving, the same person, the tone is beautiful, it is very soft, it is very approachable and the body language is different. Like that there is no difference so that you have taken pain in understanding the text and then to put it into yourself and bring it into Rag Bilahari, which is a beautiful touching Raga, light touching Raga. And both of you brought out that devotional aspect very well. And your tone, your Raga Krama, and your going from one Vannangalam, first rhythm, second rhythm, third rhythm, and your Arohana, Avarohana, that was very good. And in the second one, again, it was totally contrast to the what Pilahari has done. Second piece, Yagraja Kriti, was a very solid one. A very hard one. Even the Raga is very hard because it is going on basic sa. It's going on basic sa. In basic, anything on base in Carnatic Raga, because our thing is so well structured, you cannot change. But you can bring beauty into it by your own way of handling it, but you cannot change the base of it. That is the difference between Hindustani music and our music. We have got a traditional concrete grammar structure given. You do it in that way, you have got the choice, but you cannot make something of your own. So in this space, both of them have taken the base, which is very difficult to express. At the same time, you have to maintain and the rhythm go on that. The Padhadi and the Marga, on that base, you kept very well. And in that, your breath control was very good. Only one small thing, if you may permit me to say that, that is, when you are ending, like how you started with the Anapana, that was beautiful, you started to yourself. And you maintain through that, throughout in the middle. But in between, before ending, the this ending was mm, that one. Both of you should maintain. If you are giving swarasta, then that's fine. One person says the swara, second one takes it. There it is. It doesn't matter at all. You have done it beautifully, but it will have more maintaining of your talakrama or what you have done in the main level where you are keeping it. Otherwise, what happens? You have taken it to that high, you maintained it, and all of a sudden, your graph goes, then it goes up. In certain Kalpana Swarams, you can do that, if Swaras were used. But you didn't have the Swara pattern this time. So, if you take it in well, whether you are singing alone, or as a duo, always keep that complete. Give one hour tena if you want to leave to take the next one, take it around. Thank you, Madam, for your great speech and uh, nice suggestions. So <laughs> nice suggestions, first of all. Prabhakar Garu, Miru, comments, please. As a judge, you have to do it. <laughs>